my channel. My name is Maggie. Today for Vlogmas, I have my December makeup basket. So I started doing a monthly makeup basket about a year ago. I quite literally keep it in one of these baskets and I like it because I can see everything in there and it makes getting ready in the morning a lot easier for me because I just have what I want to work on and focus on and play with. So today I'm going to be updating you. Um, I did not end up filming and posting one of these for November. Honestly, November was a crazy month. I was gone for um, a week over Thanksgiving. So it's just, it's all fine that I didn't actually roll anything in or out last month. I'm going to be doing chapters for today's video. So I'll do face, eyes, lips, and then perfume, and that'll be it. So if you are more interested in one of those areas, you can jump around. Starting with face, a uh, couple of primers. So the two that I've had in that will stay in are my two peach themed primers. So this is iHeart Revolution Peach Delight. And this is Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Primer. I like both of these. So they will be staying in my basket. However, I did get a new primer from the Sephora VIB sale. This is a mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish Reduce Redness Primer. I just wanna try it out and see if it works for me. I'm hoping that this will have enough redness correction that I could just put like this down and then maybe like a little bit of concealer, like spot concealing and powder, then my face wouldn't be as red. So I haven't tried it yet, but I do wanna put it in and try it out this month. As far as like base products go, I'm currently mixing two. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for Oily Skin. I do have oily skin, I really love this. The formula is amazing, but the shade, this is 510 Fair and it is too dark for me. And this is the lightest shade. So I do mix it with the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator and this works out really well for me and I can control the color. They do play together well too. For concealer, I've had two of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo concealers in. I'm going to roll out the deeper shade, which is Light Peach. Um, this hasn't worked for me for about a month now, actually. So I'm just going to be keeping in the Fair Beige. I use this under my eyes and then any sort of like spot concealing. Um, I was using this as spot concealer when I had a little bit more color to my skin and I could use it like kind of all over my face, but it is just slightly too dark for me now. So I will put this away for a little bit and just stick with the one. For powder, I have two that I'm going to keep working on. So the loose powder I have, which is what I prefer to use to like actually set my face is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder. Love the Peach Perfect line. I'm so sad that it was discontinued. I'm still looking for dupes. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And then for my pressed powder, I have the CoverGirl Clean Matte. I have the shade 510 Classic Ivory. This is a good kind of like touch up powder. Um, I have a little bit of pan in there as you can see, which is kind of fun, but I don't use this on like a daily basis. All right, now for the colored cheek products. So the main product I'm using is this Hourglass Quad. This is from the 2020 holiday collection. Um, I love it. I am working on panning some of the shades in here. I have them in my project pan. So I will be keeping this in. Um, I use the bronzer. I pretty much use everything in here. So really like this. It's awesome for traveling, but also great for every day. In addition, I have two other blushes that were in from October that I'm going to keep in. And the first one is the Milani Rose Blush. Um, I have the light, lightest shade Romantic Rose, and this is just a really nice nude blush. It doesn't really look like much in the pan, but on your cheeks, if you're wearing a bold lip or a bold eye, and you still want a little bit of like flushness on the cheeks, but nothing crazy, this is my go-to. So I absolutely love it for the winter time. This will probably be in my basket for like six months straight, and then I'll, you know, start rotating it out. But really, really love that blush. Additionally, I am working on this Physician's Formula palette for my project pan. Um, so I have the blush in here as well that I will be using. Um, this is called Peach Beach. It is, or Beachy Peach, excuse me. It's pretty shimmery and glowy, whereas this one is more matte. And the one in here is kind of like the happy medium. So I do have a variety of finishes and a variety of tones to play with. I am going to be bringing one more blush in though, just kind of for fun. I wanna bring my cream blush in. So this is from ColourPop, it's the Blush Sticks. And I have the shade Cool It, which is just kind of like a nice pinky shade. Um, so that's it there. It's pretty nude, I mean a neutral. It's not like overly 
like warm by any means, but I like it um, just because of the flush it can give. It kind of gives you like the rosy from outside in the wintertime kind of vibe. Um, so I do want to bring this in to maybe use a few times throughout the month of December. Last time I did have another highlighter in here. It was the ColourPop um, Super Shock in Lunch Money. And I am going to be rolling this out. I kind of want to focus on using the highlighter in my Hourglass Quad. This is a really nice highlighter. Um, I have enjoyed having it. The Super Shock formula I really think is nice for highlight because you don't get like too chunky, but it's, I don't know, it's just that perfect formula for me. So I have really enjoyed this, but I am going to roll it out for now. And lastly for the face, I have my setting spray, which is the Milani Make It Last Original. Um, it's just one of my favorite setting sprays. I haven't tried anything else from the Make It Last line. I understand that there are other ones now, but I have oily skin and this one actually makes my makeup like stay on my skin longer. So I do just keep going back to this one. I really like it. Next, we've got the eye section of this video, and I have some standard products that really don't change that much, so I'll hit those quickly first. I just have one eyeshadow primer. It's the Milani eyeshadow primer. Um, it's getting down there, but there's still plenty in here. This Honestly, I go through like one of these a year. It's a very slow-moving product, but this is what I'm using for my primer. Um, for my eyelashes, I'm using the Coverall Exhibitionist Mascara. It's great. And then for my brows, I have two brow products. I have a pomade from Milani um, in the shade Soft Brown, which I have revived, and now it's back to normal. And then I also have um, the Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara, which is tinted and it has like little fibers in it. So nothing has really changed there. Um, I do have a single eyeshadow that I'm working on in my Project Pan, but I have a lot of progress. So I'm not going to show you. You guys can wait till that video. But this will be in as well. Last time, the palettes that I had in my basket were as follows. I had the Honest Vossary Sultry Palette. I love the ABH Sultry Palette. It is so good. I'm working on, you know, panning some of the shades in here, but it's just an awesome year-round palette. I can't believe that it's discontinued, but I am trying to work on it, so this will stay in. Another palette that I had in last time was my ColourPop Fade Into Hue. So in October, there was the ColourPop Hocus Pocus Volume 2, I believe, um, release. And I was able to dupe that palette with some of the shades from my Fade Into Hue palette, which was really cool. Um, since then, I've put most of those shades back. Um, so I won't be having this palette in my basket this month, but it was fun. And I am glad that I had, um, you know, the opportunity to kind of dupe it and it helped me not purchase another palette, you know, but yeah, this one's going to roll out. And the last time I also had my, um, ColourPop Bare Necessities palette in, this is my all time favorite palette. If you're going to buy someone an eyeshadow palette for Christmas, I would highly recommend this one. It is my favorite, all time favorite neutral eyeshadow palette. Um, I am going to keep this in for December and try to get some more use in here. Um, there's just everything you could ever need. So keeping this in as well, but I do have a couple of others to add into the mix. So I do a series on my channel called Eyeshadow Roulette, which is inspired by Pamela's eyeshadows, except I re-roll in new shades every month. So I did roll in a couple of additional palettes. Um, one of them is brand new. I got this at the VIB sale. This is the Natasha Denona um, mini retro palette. So not only is it new to me, but I also ended up rolling one of these shades in for my eyeshadow roulette. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased and happy to kind of get some more use out of this. And I'm actually enjoying the shades more than I thought I was going to. I also rolled in a shade from this ABH quad that I made a while back. Um, this is like a very rosy type quad. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Pill Talk, you know, eyeshadow palette or whatever it's called. Um, so yeah, these are the shades. I've got two shimmers on the top and two mattes at the bottom. And I think this is really pretty for this time of year as well. And then I always have this little Z palette in lately, which just a couple of uh, singles popped out from palettes that are in my project pan. So um, this will also be in. But yeah, for the eyeshadow palettes, um, rolling one out and bringing two in. Next, we've got the lip section of today's video. So the first thing and kind of a standard item is a chapstick that I keep in my makeup basket so I can you know, slap it on when I'm getting ready. Currently, I'm using the Sunbum Banana SPF 30. It's nice to just get a little bit of sunscreen on my lips. I'm sure it doesn't last that long, but it's better than nothing, right? Um, and then I have two lip liners that were in October that I'm going to keep in for December. So one of them is a nude 
um, liner that I'm working on, Project Panning. And then the other one is from Ulta. It's from the Melissa Michelle collection, which was a few years ago, I believe. And this is the matte lip liner in the shade Spicy. So this one is much more of like a berry kind of shade. I believe I used it once in October, but now that it's like Christmas and holiday season, I typically go for a darker or more bold lip. And I do have a couple of lips we'll talk about in a second that match this liner well. So I'm gonna keep both of those in. As far as like traditional like lipsticks go, um, last month I had a couple in. So the first one I had in is the Flower Beauty Cinnamon Crush Lipstick. So it looks like this. It's what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, and this has actually grown on me. I said at the beginning of fall, I wasn't sure how much I liked it, but I actually do kind of like it. Um, but I am going to roll it out and give some of my other lip products a, you know, chance to shine and all of that. So this is going to be rolling out. I also had in... Um, a red lipstick. This is like a true red from ColourPop. It's a lick bee stick called Trust Me. And um, yeah, this is like cherry red. This was in my project pan. I did reach the goal I set. That's a little swatch of it there. Very, very bright. I'm going to roll it out this month, but I may end up reaching for it if I want to wear a cherry red lip. Honestly, from wearing it, you know, kind of over the last few months, I'm just excited to wear more like my berry tones, but I'm not going to officially have it in, but of course all of this is like still available. It's not like I lock up the other makeup. I can still reach for it. I also had in the um, more of like a nude lipstick. This is from Revol Makeup Revolution, the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in the shade Chauffeur. So this one's a little bit more nude um, in nature, but still very nice. So that's it right there. I'm also going to roll this one out to give it a little bit of break and roll some other items in, but I do quite like this shade. And the last traditional kind of lipstick I had in before we move into gloss is the e.l.f. Sheer Slick Lipstick. Are these being discontinued? Because I love this and I was actually just looking on Target's website, which is where I bought this one to see if I could, you know, pick up another or what shades there were. This is the shade Blackberry, which is a very sheer, it's right here in glossy kind of like berry shade, but I love it. You can absolutely build it up. It's very comfortable. This is kind of like this um, shade and the lip color that I would just put in my purse to reapply to have a little bit of color, but like not too much. And I don't have to worry too much about like staying in my lines and or like my lip lines and everything. So this is definitely going to stay and I love this. I'm also going to roll in one more lipstick. This is in my project pan, but it's perfect for this time of year. It's a little mini lipstick from Bite Beauty. This is the shade Chai. Um, and it's just like, look at that little nubbin, um, little cute lipstick. But this is more of like a traditional like cranberry for me. So that's the swatch there. I really like it. So this would pair well with that lip liner as well as that, um, like if I were to start with wearing chai and then later, you know, after I ate something, maybe I want to just reapply the e.l.f. I think they kind of are interchangeable. This is just more intense and this is a little bit more tamed down, but I think that they're a good pair. So those are going to be the two like actual lipsticks I have in. Um, and as far as lip gloss, I've been really into lip gloss. So in October, I had the NYX Butter Gloss in. This is the shade Creme Brulee. I am going to keep this in, but I have two other glosses to bring in as well. Um, I, like I said, I'm just really into the glosses right now. So I picked up two lip glosses at the Sephora VIB sale. And the first one is from Tower 28. I never tried anything from Tower 28, but I heard everybody talk about their lip glosses this year. So I wanted to try. Uh, so this is the Shine On Lip Jelly, and I have the shade Coconut, which is a really pretty pink. Um, I have enjoyed wearing this. I wore it all throughout um, Thanksgiving time. There's a swatch of it right there. So it's just like this really pretty pink. I guess I could swatch um, Brulee as well. But the um, nice thing about it is there's no shimmer in it, and it's very, like, thin on your lips. So below coconut, I have creme brulee, which is a little bit more nude and pink than coconut. So those two. And then I also got another Fenty Gloss Balm. This is the shade Sweet Mouth. 
Um, so this is kind of like a nude gloss, but with a lot of shimmer in it. So when I want a shimmer gloss, this is what I'm going to go for. Um, it makes your lips look so juicy. So I have it swatched down here, but there's, again, not a lot of base pigment to it. So I'm feeling really happy with the choices I have here. Um, I feel like I have variety, but I also get to try out some of these new products I got from the VIB sale and um, lean into my obsession with gloss right now. So I'm very much looking forward to this selection that we just went through. The last section of today's video is going to be the perfumes. So in October, I had two perfumes in. One is the Saint Laurent Black Opium. I love this scent, it is so good. Um, so I am going to be keeping this one in for December. And then I also had um, in, this is one of my Dossier perfumes. This is supposed to be the dupe for YSL's Mon Prix. Um, and I really like this one, but I'm going to put it away. It's very like upbeat and floral. Um, so I just want to put it away for a little bit. I'm feeling something a little bit like deeper. So instead I'm going to bring in my Dossier Woody Tobacco, which is the Replica Jazz Club scent. It's got like this tobacco vanilla it is so good and it's one that's really grown on me at first I was like "Ooh, did I make a mistake but the more I smell it and wear it I really really like it so I have a sweeter scent and I'll have a little bit more of a deeper like woodier scent so that's going to be it for my December makeup basket I hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you are rotating your makeup for the month of December I feel like there's a lot of holiday makeup you know, that people pull out maybe more like sparkly or bold lips or what have you. I'm certainly looking forward to kind of doing some more festive or bold looks than I have been all year. So that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. It does mean a lot to me. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.